All right. Number six, using the data given in the previous problem, calculate the volume of 125 atoms of gold. Well, real quick, the last problem we had, what, 25.2 milliliters of gold. And, but they don't want that. This need the, we need the density, the 19.3, because everything else is different. The only thing that we could use from this problem is the density. So 19.3 grams per milliliter. So let's go ahead and uh, sort through this one. So using the data given, all right, 125 atoms of gold, and we're trying to calculate the volume. So once again, like I've been saying before, milli or when it says mass, I didn't specify units. In this case, let's make it easier on our easy on ourselves and figure out the the volume in milliliters. Okay. So we know that the units of our answer are going to be milliliters of gold. Okay. So there's only one place to start here. We have the 19.3. I'll write it here so I don't forget. 19.3 grams per milliliter. Okay, that's the density. So once again, if it's if our units are something per something in the answer, then we'll want to start with something per something, but they're not. So we're not going to start there. So we're not going to start with our density. We're going to start with 125 atoms of gold. Okay. So now the plan is, how do we get from atoms to milliliters? Well, anytime we have particles, we're going to have to get into moles if we're going to get into to anything else. Okay. So the general plan, it looks like, we're going to go from atoms into moles, and then, oh look at that, we can go from moles into grams, and then we can use our density and get into milliliters. So we'll go from particles to moles, moles to grams, grams to milliliters using the density. So let's try that. So we got 125 atoms of gold. We expect a very small number. Atoms are teeny tiny things. So, but we do know that Avogadro's number, we know that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of gold is one mole of gold. So we got that part. Now we have to go to grams. Where do we get it? So we're talking gold, our periodic table, our mole gram relationship, 196.97. There it is, 196.97. So I know that one mole of gold, looks like I'm going to need two lines, is 196.97 grams of gold. So we got in the to grams. Now it's just a matter of using my density because I'm heading to milliliters. So I know that there are 19.3 grams of gold, one milliliter of gold. Ding, ding, ding. Check my units, atoms of gold, atoms of gold, moles of gold, moles of gold, grams of gold, grams of gold, milliliters. It's a matter of plugging and chugging. 125 times 196.97 divided by 6.02 EE23 divided by 19 point, oops, dang. Let's try it again. 125 times, oops, 125, ah, having a hard time with the calculator. 125 times 196.97 divided by 6.02 EE23 divided by 19.3 equals. It's like we're good to three sig figs here for 125, so 2.12 times 10 to the minus 21. 2.12 times 10 to the minus 21 milliliters. That's teeny tiny, which makes sense because we only have 125 atoms. So that's, you couldn't even see that. 
and like the like the um, tungsten example, especially if you're wearing some kind of jewelry, like a ring or a necklace or something like that, you probably have more than 125 atoms on your of gold on your hand at any given time. It wears off. There you have it.